Good morning. Welcome to your daily morning prayer and power words. It's 2.19 a.m. Los Angeles time, October 22, 2020. It's a beautiful Thursday morning with God. Welcome to your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Let's start with a prayer verse. Mark 11, 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Prayer is the prayer bank of our daily journey. It's a soul refresher, stress reliever. It's also a means of communication to God and actually the backbone of our ministry. What are our expected results for our flock? We wish that uh, we will be able to teach them of being selfless to pray for other people, to teach uh, our people how to pray and uh, to form a habit of praying. Allow us to share our power words for this morning. In Ephesians 4.32, and be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God also forgave you. All of us have been hurt. It's a painful part of life. A parent neglects you or even abuses you. A friend probably disappoints you or betrays you. A spouse or a boyfriend or a girlfriend is unfaithful to you or abandons you. A stranger assaults your loved one. It's as if you have been stabbed in the back but the knife is still there. And every time you play the hurt in your mind, you twist the knife a little more. The pain never leaves and the wound never heals. What can we do? What can we do about this pain and poison that ruins our life and robs our joy? God has a solution. God's solution is simple. But it's not easy. God's solution is grace. Extend grace to the person who hurt you. Forgive. Yes, forgive. Forgiveness does not mean that all of your hurt and pain are gone. That may take a very long while. Forgiveness means that you have made a choice to forgive, to let go of your anger, to let go of your resentment to let go of your right to get even you have said to god lord i forgive him or i forgive her i choose to forgive him or her i give you my anger and my resentment my desire to get even i give it all to you you need to take the knife out let the pain go let the wound let the wound heal. Set a prisoner free. Set yourself free from a prison of pain and poison. Forgiveness is a healing choice, a choice made by Christ's strength in us, a choice made because of Christ's grace to us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful morning. For you are with us and we can feel your presence. You, our beautiful God. We want to acknowledge you that you are king over our lives, our master. You are the Lord of all lords and king of kings. You are worthy to be enthroned. We just want to praise your name this morning and lift up your name, your holiness. We ask for forgiveness, Lord God, for all the sins that uh, we've done. We've thought of, Lord God, and uh, we've said, forgive us. We repent to you, Lord God, and uh, just wanna, we just want to come to your throne of grace, Lord God, and ask for your mercy. Thank you, Lord God, for all the blessings that we receive from you, uh, from the basic food, shelter, and clothing. Thank you, Lord God, for all the blessings that we continue to receive from you, and also for the blessings that we are about to receive from you. Lord God, we remember in prayer, Lord God, this world, our country, our church, our neighbor, our friends, and our relatives, Lord God. 
And we also pray for ourselves, Lord. We pray, Lord God, for the pandemic to end all over the world. We ask, Lord God, your, uh, your loving kindness to allow us to go back to normal, the old normal, not the new normal. We pray for vaccine for COVID-19, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for the economy of the world, Lord God, to bounce back and uh, the, to lead the entire world into prosperity after the pandemic. We pray, Lord God, for the flu season, Lord God, and <coughs> we pray, Lord, that uh, you'll be uh, you'll, you'll, you'll protect your people, Lord God. We pray for the November 3 U.S. elections, Lord, that uh, you give wisdom to your people who to vote. We pray, Lord God, for Southern Luzon, who was hit by typhoon, Lord God. And uh, we pray that you, they will be able to recover soon and uh, you'll provide for them, Lord. We pray, Lord God, for the Great Commission that uh, all the churches will focus more on evangelism and, and discipleship, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for all your missionaries that you send, Lord God, to different places. We pray that you protect them, provide for them, and uh, continue to, uh, to, to bless them, Lord. We pray for our Church of the Nazarene denomination, Lord, for all our uh, GS, our DS, and all the local pastors. We pray, Lord God, uh, that you continue to use us, Lord. Uh, especially here in U.S. Canada region, Lord God. We also pray for our Filipino zone churches that uh, you make use of us, Lord God, mightily in our uh, areas of influences. We pray, Lord God, for the Metro Los Angeles Filipino churches that uh, uh, you use them, Lord God, especially for the Filipino ethnicity, Lord God, to evangelize and disciple, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for all uh, people who are celebrating their birthdays, in the month of uh, October, Lord God, especially those uh, having their birthdays today, we pray, Lord God, that uh, uh, we, you 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 bless their hearts, and uh, we pray that we pray that uh, you give the desires of their hearts. Lord, um, allow your people to pray to you, Lord, and uh, allow me to lead them, Lord. Uh, a prayer of. Uh, a sincere prayer, Lord God, of uh, asking you to be, to be Lord of their lives, Lord God. Lord Jesus, we are all sinners, Lord, but we believe that you died upon the cross for us, that you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of our sins, and we believe that on the third day you rose from the dead and went to heaven to prepare a place for us. We accept you now, as Savior, as our Lord, as our God, as our friend. Come into our hearts, Lord God, and set, our, set us free from our sins. And because you are our Savior, we shall not die, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you very much for uh, having us, uh, inviting us and uh, joining us with our daily morning prayer and power words for those people who are using this video as their all as their personal morning devotion as they are having their breakfast or having their quiet time good morning to you and uh, thank you thank you for your kind messages uh, so some reminders uh, next this coming sunday we will be uh, meeting in zoom uh, pastor manny will uh, preach on Sunday. Uh, we will provide the Zoom ID and uh, all of the uh, LA First Filipino Church uh, of the Nazarene members will attend the Zoom meeting. The following Sunday, November 1, uh, 9 a.m. at Wiley Chapel, this will be our reopening and installation service in person and both uh, online. So we hope to see you there. This is your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. We are open every Sunday, 9 a.m. Wiley Chapel, starting October, uh, starting November 1, 3401 West Third Street, Los Angeles, California. Please email at us at lafilnas at gmail.com. Message us uh, through social media, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. And um, and uh, 
watch out for our upcoming lafeelness.org website. So uh, if you know someone who resides in Los Angeles area, uh, please uh, refer them to us and uh, we can visit them and uh, share the word to them. Thank you. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your daily devotions. This is your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. God bless you. Good morning.